Hey boys, I told you I'd make you a uh, EGR video. Let me, uh... Now, this guy's been on a trip for a while, so... Oh, that was 18,600. This truck is 2018. I already got 18,000 miles. Huh? Ain't that a coincidence? Alrighty, boys. Let's talk about something I really hate. Pile of junk right here. Your EGR valve. So, for you guys, most of you guys know how it is, but some of you guys don't know how it works. Um, and I'll explain myself, and you'll understand where the hatred's coming in. So, down there, you see that thing right there, the silver thing? That's the turbo, okay? So, this is the exhaust side. So, to make things simple, the way that this engine works is it sucks air through here, filters it, puts it in that turbo. That thir turbo boosts it up, and there's a piping underneath. Pushes it forward through the intercooler, comes out here, and here's the piping. And that goes into your, so the air goes into your head and into the engine, okay? Well, you see where this thing sits, right? That's a problem. So what the heck is it doing? You know, you got tubing back here, and it's going back here. So, you got the exhaust side there. So what's going on is this engine is exhausting. So starting from the exhaust part. So letting the gases out, keeping it as appropriate as possible. Um, there, there's a, a small portion of those gases that go into that EGR cooler. You see this squared off thing right there? So that's the EGR cooler. And then it goes through here, okay? Stupidest thing ever. So this is controlled by a valve, clearly. So whenever the computer, or I'll just keep it simple, whenever the computer decides it's necessary to regen, not regen, to EGR, it will uh, open this, you know, you got your motor there, and it'll open this valve and start throwing exhaust gases into here. But that's not the biggest problem that I have with that. It's really fine uh, particles. Uh, carbon particles is the way I would call them to keep it um, as original as possible so you guys could follow along what I'm trying to say here. So those particles just get into your intake and right into your um, uh, block. Yes, I said that right. From the exhaust side, you got gases, carbon particles going through that EGR cooler, the box thing I was showing you. This thing right here, that's your EGR cooler. Cools off the, the hot gases, goes through here, through this tube, and over into here. And this thing opens and dumps it in. Yo, what happened to filtration? What happened to uh, keeping this engine clean? Well, good luck. So, any way you spin it, any way you spin it, it you jar a bunch of junk. Okay? I'm going to repeat myself. You got exhaust gases going through here, small Bits and pieces of uh, carbon get dumped right into your in, uh, your head intake port, which dumps right into. So what what's the point of this filter? You might as well drive around filterless. So on on a long shot here, of course, you're you're lightly dusting your engines, which you are with this EGR system. It's stupid. There's nothing wise about it, nothing smart. But the EPA wants what they want, and quote unquote, you know, you get better emissions. Well, shoot. You, you, you got corks at both ends of this thing, you know, on the exhaust side, of course. And we'll talk about DF and DPF later. So if they could come up with a system, and I know they can, to eliminate the EGR, and if all they want to do is deal with the DPF and DEF, I've heard um, somewhere in Europe some manufacturers already came out with it, but I'll leave that topic alone. So that's what the fuss is all about. That's the biggest problem. So it's like partially not filtering your intake air it's exactly that but heated too you get it nice and hot in there and it shoots it right into your block or excuse me your head and then combusts and it's just stupid man there ain't nothing good about EGR so for you guys not knowing how EGR works that's how it works uh, is it full time? no it's it's definitely a part time deal and especially when it's regening it's full on and stuff like that but We'll have to talk about DEF and DPF later on and understand the whole regen portion of it. 
But yeah, it's part time, but it's still, it's like, hey, uh, let's get rid of the filter part time. No one wants to do that. Everyone changes their filter and they put quality stuff in here. But then this thing just craps all over itself and destroys. It's like a self destructing on a small scale, and that's exactly what it is. So, anyways, guys, that's what my fuss is about at EGR. And, you know, there's a lot more to it. Um, you know, from a, from an aspect of business, it, I mean, you got a you got a motor, you got a sensor, and then you got another motor. You know, you got like all these mechanisms that go out and give you hell. What's the point, guys? Yeah, you could say business. Yeah, you know, more tax money and revenue and all that. But this crap will is uh, quite the number. Does quite the number. And here's the kicker. You know, they've I, I gotta give them credit for uh somewhat getting the system down because i mean i've never had this thing going out and let's knock on some wood and paper whatever you believe in i've never had this motor go out or this valve or this plastic thing is a plastic or metal <laughs> go to crap um you know the probe either ejar valves um, either they're they're crap from the get-go or they're fine. Most of mine are good. I've ran into one that got replaced several times, but that's about it. And I said mine. I should correct myself. It wasn't mine. It was a good buddy of mine. He just happened to have unlimited mile four-year warranty that a dealership gave him, and they had it. You know, they honored it and they kept replacing it. But what's the mileage span I would give? Let's just include the EGR uh, portion of it. So starting at the manifold, those gaskets usually go out about 300,000 on a single. And if you don't work it too much on a dually, it's about 200,000. The manifold, the exhaust manifold. I don't know if you can see it. That rusty looking thing in the background. There's six holes there. Those gaskets goes out. Usually it's the first and the sixth because, you know, by the time expands, contracts, all that. Um, so those gases go out to 300,000. That EJAR cooler is, is more or less dunners around 150-ish. That's a good number. That's a little bit on the conservative side. That's I had to pay the price of that EJAR cooler at 150 on one of my pickups. Um, it's funny I never spoke about it. Or have I? Anyways, EJAR cooler is about 150. This tubing is tubing, you know, V-band. That's no big deal there. Surprisingly, the sensor never went out in uh, EGRs. They're actually pretty stout little boogers, so yeah. Besides uh, this EGR gumming up all your sensors and you're crapping out your engine, uh, and it's not gonna grenade your engine, it just shortens the life of it. You know, something that could have lasted, let's say, a million miles, now you're getting half a million. It's because it's partially, at times, getting lightly dusted. So anyways, boys, as always, may the Lord bless you. May y'all have a mighty fine day, and I'll keep posting.